Hello, it is Kay and it is Gogo. Go. And we are here in Penang, Georgetown, Malaysia. And we're going along for some amazing street food. We just walked out and I can already smell the delicious food. <laughs> <laughs> Iced tea. You get it in the bag. It was full. Delicious. With lime in it. It's so good and so refreshing. And that's like two. Two fifty. Two fifty ringgit. And it's so healthy because it's unflavored tea, no sugar in there, just lemon. So it's much better for us. If you know us, you know that we like drinking um, sometimes fizzy drinks. So since we've been here in Malaysia, we're really enjoying the teas, which we feel like is much a healthier option. And so much ice in it. Yeah, delicious icy cold. More amazing street art. Look, Mr. Bean. There's you, Gokan. <laughs> Mr. Bean. I always call Gokan Mr. Bean. Oh, this is amazing art. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> We love this. So everywhere that you go in Georgetown just has the most amazing architecture. And the Chinese feeling is so big in this town. It's wonderful. We love in the Chinese signs as I think we've said. And we love the fact that you don't seem to walk far and you come across these beautiful temples. This one looks really old. Really old. And the Fuk Tung Temple. What's it called? NG Fuk Tung Temple. I hope we're pronouncing it correct and I'm pleased that Gokan's saying that and not me. Just having a look and seeing what the stalls are. What's the name of this place? Chulia Street. Chulia Street. Yes, so this is noodles, okay? Yeah, Fried noodles. Yeah, this one is soya soup, egg, brown, chicken meat, bean sprout, vegetable, and nice noodle. Ah, nice. That sounds good. Don't worry, no good, no pay. Where you come from? <laughs> From England. from England. Oh, don't worry. No, there were the English Irish Scottish Welshman. I guarantee finish the bread. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. And here we've got chicken. I am. Or I am. Beef. Oh, we've Dug got in. beef. Dagling. There's chicken and beef they have. So they've got chicken and they've got beef. And here over there we've got fresh juices. Look at these tiny little pineapples. They're so cute. They're so cute. I've never seen a pineapple. And these oranges I know come from these oranges, mandarins, come from China. These ones. These ones here. All the fruit looks so amazing. And these are meant to be like a blessing, these oranges. These ones here. So somebody was actually telling us about that. So that street food market there was a little bit disappointing, wasn't yes. it? There was only like seven or eight yeah, stalls. Yeah, not many stalls and it's supposed to be one of the better ones here in Penang. But because tomorrow is the first, well, we think the first day of Chinese New Year, um, we don't know if maybe that's why there's not many stalls there, which is understandable. So we're going to head and see if we can find another street food market. Let's hope everything's not closed today so we can find some food. Otherwise, Gogo's going to go hungry. Gogo goes hungry in Malaysia. I can see the title of this vlog now. 
Now we arrived to Kimberley Street Night Food Market. It was a short walk anyway. And uh, this looks lively. Okay, ready? We're done. And frogs. And egg. Uh, yeah, egg. So we're gonna try things which are completely, completely new. So if you are new to our channel, we've spent the last three months traveling around India and we've had lots of things to learn there. And now we feel like here in Malaysia, we've got it to learn all again, a totally different new cuisine, a totally different new culture. And it's so exciting for us. Um, but obviously we don't know the names of things. We don't know what foods people eat here. So we're just gonna try some little things and give them a taste so we can start to learn. Yeah, everywhere we go, even it was in India, every state we traveled, it was like different taste and different food. Now we are in Malaysia, it's totally different. Yeah. We are so sorry. If you pronounce the names and taste wrong, please forgive us. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> so we might travel more and more, so we can travel more and more places. It's such a nice feeling sitting here on the side of the road. Thank, thank you, you so you. much, thank sir. Much, thank you. We want the chili shot and the sweet shot together. Ah, oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. Wow, this looks amazing. And it's all so new. Go can go, go first. So, we're going to be completely honest. We've got to use the menu so we know what we're eating. So what are you going to go for first? I'm going to try this first. It's the crispy bean curd cheese. Cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna go for it with the yeah. chili sauce. Mmm, that sauce looks so good. Yeah, like chili sauce with soy. Yeah, you said soy in there yeah. as well. It looks really good. I've never had anything bean curd ever. Have you? Does it taste like? It tastes like fish. Fish? Yeah. It's crispy. <laughs> crispy obviously but this chili is spicy and sweet it's like sweet chili sauce with soy sauce mm. this is definitely good but there's really high fish taste in that one oh. mm -hmm. this one is Shrimp rolls. Shrimp rolls. <laughs> As you can see, the shrimps inside there. It's crunchy, mm. but soft crunchy and crispy outside. This is so delicious. You are gonna love this. Is it so sweet? It's not sweet at all. No? It's like, this sauce makes it like sweet and spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Nice. Mm. This is something I wanna try. We've no idea about this. Century egg. Let me have a good look at that. Bad. Looks like intestines. It's like liver. It smells like liver inside there. Smells like yeah. Well, that's the yolk inside. Ginger inside. Ginger. Yeah. We've got ginger inside. <laughs> it's like hey, with this ginger, and we love ginger. Is this it... one is shrimp cake. Yeah. Mm. It's like heaven. Simple. Shrimp cake. It's all these are same texture. It's like crispy outside and soft inside. But only this one is just crispy all the way around. It was very good and happy new year. Yeah, happy, happy new year. Happy new year. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow go on, go on. Tomorrow go off to you. Tomorrow day off. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, happy off. New Year. Yeah, happy, happy New Year. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. And this looks like uh, 
another place, vegetarian. Ah, oh. vegetarian. So again, this is something we've totally never eaten. And what's this called? Rice cake. Rice cake, yeah. Which is totally, it doesn't look anything like rice, but it's called rice cake. Well done, go go. It doesn't taste like rice. It tastes like something. Oh, what's that? Like beetroot, like boiled beetroot. It tastes like. Beetroot. Yeah. Which I like beetroot. It tastes like boiled beetroot to me. I don't know what you're gonna think, but it definitely tastes like boiled beetroot. And this. And we got this one here. It's like a cauliflower, cauliflower fritter. Fritter, yeah. With a chili sauce on? Yeah. Mm. This is nice. I mean, this is nice as well, but this is really nice. Is that good? Yeah. The crunchy cauliflower and crispy outside and a little bit of spicy chili sauce on it. It is a really good combination. I really like this. And this here definitely tastes like beetroot to me. I would say it's more like, um, I want to say like a turnip. But apparently this is rice. It's got bean sprouts in there and like a chili type of sauce. But I suppose it could be rice. Mixed up and blended up. We don't know. We don't know if it's vegetable or rice. We've no idea. It's just called rice cake. So if you do know what this is made of, please let us know in the comments. Mm. I would say it's a little bit tasteless. Not so much taste going on there. Unless you get some of the bean sprout and the sauce, the actual rice cake is tasteless. I'm gonna try some of this one, the cauliflower. chili on is absolutely delicious that is really really good so the lady from the stall is just telling us it's actually rice that is rice you can't believe it can we unusual the rice i've been eating yeah. <laughs> but it's all right so it must be sort of mushed together to bake a cake maybe powdered up yeah, and it comes like a different texture. Yeah, or maybe rice flour. Maybe it's made with rice flour. Inside it looks like that. Yeah. I'm becoming an expert. <laughs> Would you go for that again? No. No. What about the cauliflower? Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much and happy Chinese yeah, New Year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this stall is amazing. If you are vegetarian and you're in Penang, you won't struggle to find somewhere as well. Guess how much was that bo both plates? Four ringgit. Wow. For everything. That's that, amazing. Yeah, that was only four ringgit. So here we've got more stalls here. Uh, uh, lots of pork on that one. Well, it was a bit disappointing. The street food market, like we've been to so far, and each one has got like six, seven stalls. Yeah. And they weren't really 
the best one to be honest. After being in KL, Kuala Lumpur, and I thought street food is heaven in Malaysia, yeah. but Georgetown is not really the best one. We've got some different desserts that we've never tried and we've came along to one of the restaurants because there wasn't anything there at the street food market. So this is salted egg caramel. Custard. Custard. Yeah, salted egg custard and it is warm. Wow. Yeah, it is really warm and like spongy. Look at that. Wow. Like a and this is egg tart. Egg tart. Which can one you are see you the, going to go Can you see for? the texture on that one? Yeah. You go into this one. Which I one? I want to go first? egg tart first because this is the name is salted. Just in case it's salty, I want to see it do it first. So if you don't know, I love sweet things and Coco loves spicy things. Egg tart goes. It's warm. It's not very sweet, but the pastry has got great texture. Pastry just melts in your mouth. This pastry, like layer of pastries, as you can see, it just comes apart. It just melts in your mouth. It's just so simple. Is it like a egg tart in the UK? Nothing like it. No. It tastes nothing like egg tart at all. I'm sure you're gonna like it. It's not really very sweet. The pastry is so flaky, it's practically falling apart. The pastry is much better than any egg tart I've ever had in the UK. The egg custard is exactly like the UK one for me, apart from it's missing the nutmeg on the top, what we put. That is unbelievable and we also serve it in the UK warm. Best thing I've eaten today. something like this have we nope never had something like this but we saw the picture and we said we've got to try this looking so worried at the other side of the camera but look at that it's a gooey eggy custard inside and it is absolutely delicious it is so gooey and delicious and this bun wow that is amazing i love that but i really want gogo to try that Look at that feeling. It's slightly warm. Yeah, look at that feeling. Look. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna like this so much. <laughs> so good, do you love this? This is incredible. Like they say, the best thing I ever had today. <laughs> So but if, this, yeah, if this is what Malaysian cakes taste like, we love them. This is next level. This is next level. Yeah. It's gone. Just like that. So Georgetown is filled with pretty, pretty things in the street. And we've really enjoyed tasting some street food in the street food markets. 
Although I must say that we were expecting a bigger choice and definitely more stalls. But we do realise that it is the eve before Chinese New Year. I think it's nothing to do with about the Chinese New Year. They knew Gogo was coming to town, so <laughs> they just ran away. They all hid because they thought he's going to eat everything. But certainly what we did have was delicious. Yes. And we, we can say we've tried all them new foods. And that's to us what traveling is about. Trying new things and new culture. And always being honest if we like something or if we don't yeah. like something. So we won't be fake. We'll always yes. say. It's always out there. Yeah. We're very, very So far, natural. there's not many things I haven't liked. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Maybe a couple. But they're, they're, like, I had them, but not something I would go again. Yeah. Things. But you ate them. I ate them. We never waste food. No. But it's thanks from Kay and, and thanks from... Gogo. And please don't forget to give us a like. Subscribe. And a comment. And hit the bell button. And let us know, please, if you know any dishes that we can eat whilst we're traveling around Malaysia, which don't include anything to do with pork, please let us know in the comments and we greatly appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time for watching us. Thank you so much. And bye from us and bye from Georgetown. Goodbye.